Didn't we learn ethics in kindergarten? By the time we get to be 12 years old, to high school or whatever, haven't we real, aren't we really set on our characters? Can we change? Um, the answer is yes, I think so. Um, in this respect. First, I think most of our students have pretty good values. Uh, and I think they tend to think of ethics uh, as being somehow antithetical to their values rather than complementary, uh, a, a sort of add-on, a luxury that they don't need to bother with in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Um, but I think students will respond to, for example, um, our telling them that an organization in which people trust each other and tell each other the truth is a more effective organization than uh, one in which that is not the case. So uh, that's something we can do for them. We, we can't reach the sociopaths. We will never reach the sociopaths. But most people are not sociopaths. Most people take this view. Look, if you tell me the truth, I'll tell you the truth. You cooperate with me, I'll cooperate with you. Everything you learned about about prisoner's dilemma and how people are motivated prisoner's dilemma is misleading. It is an oversimplification. People are, are willing to be cooperative. Uh, if they're made if they're led to believe that business can be a place that supports their values, uh, can make them happy, in which they are not swimming in, in a pool of sharks, they'll respond. And then the other thing uh, is um, I think it sharpens people's thinking about ethics. I think, for example, at the beginning of an ethics course, you might get a lot of students who say things like, well, you know, what it really comes down to is whatever your culture says is right, is right. You know? There's a certain amount of sloppy thinking that can be eliminated. Um, there are lots of sloppy thinkers uh, among undergraduates and and MBA students too when it comes to ethics. But they're sloppy thinkers who can learn to think better and who have, as I say, good values. So we'll, we'll uh, sharpen up their thinking and encourage them to believe that their values are, um, can, be, can be maintained. Uh, and they can be maintained um, in part because they'll be vigilant. One of the things about the teaching people the Milgram experiment is that you can then say to them, okay, now when you go to work, every so often step back and think about Milgram and ask yourself, am I in a Milgram experiment now? And I, am I a Zimbardo experiment now? And if you are, then dust off the old resume.